One last little trick to think about as we close up this unit. Depending on what type of video presentation you're making, if it's a product demo, you may want to think about how you want your mouse cursor to show up to your users. If you're doing a dynamic presentation, say using PowerPoint, you may want to turn off the mouse altogether. So let's look at how to change those settings in the Blueberry Flashback Express player. The first option you want to look at, if you do want to show your mouse cursor to your users, there is a feature. If you go up into Effects and go to Highlight Cursor, you do have lots of different options for how you want to show the cursor to your, to your users. The first one is if you want to highlight mouse clicks altogether. And as you've probably been seeing it through this video, um, you'll see a little um, circle kind of light up every time I click on the screen, letting the user know that you've clicked on something. So if you want to show that, just check it there. And if you're, especially if you're doing product demos, you definitely want to highlight the mouse and have that show up in the video. And you have a couple of different options for how you want to show that. Um, I would recommend not using the spotlight simply because it grays out all the screen except for your cursor. So for most demonstrations and, and product software demos and things like that, you'll probably best be off by using the circle, which means that it shows the entire screen, but your mouse is going to be highlighted to kind of focus your visitors and viewers on what they're seeing. So you can change the color and the settings for that down here and I'll let you play with that to see what you like. Um, but I just want to point out that you probably would want to turn this on if you're doing product demos and doing um, screen shares for um, what's going on on your screen. And the other option is if you want to turn off your mouse altogether, like if you're doing a dynamic high definition PowerPoint presentation, you want your viewers to focus just on PowerPoint, then there's a feature in the export screen that you can actually just turn that off altogether. So again, we're not going to go too far into exporting, but I just wanted to point this out so that you'll know about it as you're going through and doing your recordings. So you can turn this off before you export, even though your mouse is on and active and you're using it possibly during your presentation, you can actually uncheck this when or before you export your video so your mouse won't even show in your exported presentation. So if your presentation doesn't need your mouse there, you can just turn that off in case you actually want to use it um, to help you out as you're making the video. So again, just two little quick things in the export process that are going to make your job a little bit easier to know up front. And so just kind of decide how you want to show your mouse or not show it, depending on what type of presentation you're going to be presenting.